Watch therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house is, is coming. He can come in the evening, he can come at midnight, he can come the crowing of the rooster, or in the morning. There are four watches of the night, and he can put in his appearance at any one of those. So here's where you're going to talk back to me. Of those four watches in the night, evening, midnight, the crowing of the rooster, or the morning, if somebody is likely to sleep, which of those times do you think they are more likely to sleep? Come on, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Let, let, let's, hey, 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 let's do it. By the way, I've not heard a rooster since that. You guys have roosters here? Yes? Okay. We have, we have hundreds of roosters. I mean, literally. Hundreds of roosters. Um, so, they wake us up in the morning. Let me ask you a question. Look at the text. There are four watches in the night. Evening. Midnight. Crowing of the roosters, that's like about, I don't know, three, two, three o'clock in the morning. And then in the morning. If a watcher is about to sleep, is likely to sleep, which of those times is he most likely to fall asleep? Huh? Somebody says midnight. Anybody else? Crowing of the rooster? Crowing of the rooster. Well, well here's the text. Here's the text. The text is, if that, if we are likely to sleep at midnight, then what Jesus is trying to tell you, it is at that time, it is at that exact time when we are most likely to sleep that when the sky will split open and the Son of God put in his appearance. Does that make sense to you? Yes, yes, yes. Hang on, people. Here's the message. I w don't miss the message. God will not come at the time when we are expecting him to come. Is that, is that clear? Let, let me say that over here. God will not come at the time when we expect him to come. Over and over and over and over, it is repeated. He will come at the time when we least expecting put it in context for you let me put it in context for you if all hell is breaking loose in Nairobi if we have problems here and problems here and all kind of crime and violence and starvation and disease and all the other stuff and going on in top to, and people say oh well this is the time God. God is not coming during that time does that make sense to you but let, let, me, let me put it again he is coming at a time when the people in Nairobi is quite comfortable, well fed, have good jobs, low taxes. <laughs> Amen. He is coming at a time when there is no crime and no violence. In other words, peace and safety. If you think the preacher is joking, I can give you evidence for it. I can give you evidence for it. What did Jesus say? What did Jesus say in the days of Sodom? As it was in the days of Sodom, they were eating and drinking and look at the text. They were eating, they were drinking, they were planting, they were doing all kinds of stuff. The economy was good, life was prosperous. Nobody wanted God to come right now, and nobody expected God to come right now. Why? Because when life is sweet, nobody prays. When life is happy, nobody comes to church. Nobody, nobody think about God. He's coming at a time when the society is prosperous. You get it? <laughs> 